Welcome back to Gaming with the Hackets. We're playing Nuclearis today. Um, new version of the game has been updated. We're on version 2.12.115. The previous version where I made startups and shutdown videos was 2.11.15, or correction, 115. And they've added a synchroscope, which changes the way you um, bring your turbine online or your generator and connecting it to the city power. So there's a couple things you got to look out for. And that's mainly right, uh, the reason why I'm updating this video, because it will affect the startup. And if you don't know how to do it, then you're going to uh, destroy your turbine early on, and you won't be able to play the game. So let's jump right into it. We're playing easy. I have no music, because I don't want to deal with copyright issues and all that good stuff. So... Um, yeah, first thing is what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a loan, I'm going to do the maximum, and this is so I can set myself up for the shutdown video that comes after this. So we'll do this, accept it, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy one more steam generator and two more pumps. So we're gonna go with Bravo Loop and then I'll get the steam generator for Bravo Loop, so two. And then I'm going to buy a better diesel generator because I really don't like the other one. It takes a lot of fuel. Okay, and how much money do I have left? 1.8 million. So let's see. I'll buy a power transformer. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just doing this to set up the video. And then I'll get a corresponding loop turbine. So we can see all that in action. Okay. So that should be good. Maybe I'll buy another resistor ring too. That way I can try to show you that operation as well. But from there we're going to come over to our panel. Normally you want to visit all the rooms, which I do in another walkthrough, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and get everything started so I can streamline the process. We're going to start this on medium. So we'll select medium speed, start the pump, start the vacuum pump, over our steam generator tab and then I'm gonna dial up 10 but I'm not gonna start it right now. Um, this the level won't start dropping until you get to about 140 150 uh, degrees on your reactor so we're gonna activate this panel although we're not going to use it there is one thing you got to be careful of with the synchroscope in order to even get the generator connected to the city's power, you have to tell them that you're going to start operations. But you don't want to do it too soon because then you'll lose out on a bunch of compliance um, objectives. And then you'll lose, I mean, you're not going to really lose money, but you lose the opportunity to get those. And if it says like, you know, 80% for the day or something, and you started reactor operations at 10 a.m. and then you can't supply power till 13 that's probably gonna put a dent so in order to load fuel in the core you have New to go to nominal so we'll set that and then we're gonna activate our pump just click medium and you can go to 49 percent there is an achievement at like sometimes on the new day I'll say operated 49% or less. Has started to we have to load our condenser a little bit to keep it cool. And we're going to activate the control rod panel, the core panel, and then we're also going to swap this to automatic. And that way it'll auto turn off. And then the pressurizer, it's on high, 
So you can just go ahead and start that. It does take a little bit to warm up. And then we're going to turn on the fuel loading. So it says unloaded and then cargo area. You can literally just click insert. And that'll take it and put it in the pool. I've never figured out how to extract it. I think that has to be fully, um, what's the word I'm looking for, fully used up before you can actually remove it. So we're going to let this cook for a little bit. Our temperature's coming up. Once we start getting some pressure going, we can actually start pulling rods if we want. So mm, probably now is a good time to request to start. That way we're not sitting there with our turbine spun up ready to go. That, Like I said, that will damage the core. Alright, so we got some pressure coming up, so let's go ahead and pull some rods. And then we're going to turn this condenser off, because I'm sure it's getting high up there. So at this second zero, we can go ahead and turn it off and then it'll coast up into this yellow area and then once we have 55 degrees on our core that'll actually um, get critical mass and then it'll start heating up so we're at the second zero turn our condenser load off as you can see we're going critical this weird pulse of energy. I don't know why it does that. That would not actually be a thing. The reactor has reached critical mass. And, its and status now we're going to... Reactive. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the time until we get to about 125-ish. Because our generators are going to drop for a bit. So... Okay, slow it down, then we'll come over here and we'll look. And it's still not dropping, let's see our temp on our primary side, 140. We'll look back and it should start dropping any second now. Okay, so it's dropping down, we're going to start our number 3 pump, and we're going to leave it at 10% for right now. It'll come up to speed. And actually, we're going to have to go up more. Oh no. Okay, thank you. We'll go up to 15 for right now. Okay, that's really dropping quick. Only a one knee. Okay. Let's go up to 25%. Need to get this level going up soon. Still dropping. Wow, it's dropping like a rock. Let's go up to 35. Okay, that's finally increasing. Okay, let's check our primary side. We're getting up there. Our pressure is getting high, so we need to turn the heaters off. We're going to check our steam generator again now that we're at 240. Okay, it's still coming up. And I'm going to go actually to about 40. So it should not reach. I'm going to drop this another inch just to speed things up. Yep, we're starting at 11, which is kind of perfect. We're already almost there. So that's coming up, which is good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this at like 98, just so I slow down a little bit. Uh, probably more than that. Let's go to 98.7. Okay, so that'll... That'll keep me from going too crazy. This is coming up nicely. 
probably a little too high now, so let's go back down to 35. Now let's check out our turbine. So this is kind of hectic at the beginning. Um, as you can see, we still have no connection to that the city power, so we're still um, not even able to connect, and we're only at 600, we'll call it 700 RPMs right now. So that needs to come up, and what's really going to drive that is the temperature in our steam generator coming up. So we're coming down a little bit, which is fine for now. Pressure is still going up. So I think we're good on that aspect. I'm going to actually pull these a little bit more now just to boost that heat up rate. Basically with this gauge though, the farther you are in either direction, the less or more reactivity you're going to add. So if you have, if you're in the dark red, <laughs> your power is going to or your temperature is going to shoot up real quickly. So you need to slow that down and make sure that you're not going too crazy with that. Otherwise, um, you get steam in the core vessel and that's just not a good time. And in my shutdown video, I actually did this on the way back up. I pulled rods with uh, no... Yeah, okay, we can go back up to 40. That's 42. I actually pulled rods without any core cooling, which uh, actually went kind of crazy. Alright, so once we get to like the RPM that we're looking for, then we should be able to start. Okay, we're going to leave that like that. That's going to come up. This is going to come up. And if we actually wanted to, we could actually... Uh, oh, you see, there's the sinker scope already moving. So we can we can raise the speed, and now they're synced. We need to raise our voltage because you want to be. Well, I guess it's still coming up to speed. So as you can see, as as the parameters change, that also changes things. So we're at the RPM. I think we're good now. Okay. Let's raise the voltage to 2200. It's kind of annoying that you gotta click. You can't just hold it down. Sorry for the clicking noise. Maybe I should get a less clicky mouse. Actually, say, oh my gosh, why is this taking so long? Okay, let's raise our speed a smidge. Keep going with this. And I think once you're in like 10% of it, not 10%, but like 10 volts. Okay, maybe not. Okay, now we're just waiting for that to come back around. Lower speed. Close the breaker. We're in parallel. Now this is pretty much set for automatic operations. So we're on the bus, we're connected. Check our pressure or our temperature. It's coming up. So I'm actually going to want to look at the reactivity first. So we're at 11, we want to get to... That was interesting, didn't know you could do that. Let's go to 80... or 98.8. Nope, okay, still too high. Let's try 99. So that's 10.35, 99.1. You just want to check this gauge and see where you're at. So that will actually heat you up a little bit. And this will probably be a very, very small amount. Now it's going up. So let's go one more. And this will fluctuate based on temperature. So 
9.9, that'll give us a little bit of a cooldown, which is fine. Check our generator level. That's pretty steady. Okay. So that's the startup. It took me about 15 minutes, but I've done this like lots of times, so I kind of know what to expect. And yeah, that's the startup. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe for more content. I'm going to put out some more walkthroughs and probably some more gameplay of this game. Um, and then I also have some other games that I want to get into, and I can also post those on the channel so you guys can see me doing whatever. But real quick before I leave, so that order that I put in, if you come to your logistics page, orders are received until 1200. So if I wanted to order anything else right now, which I probably could, not that, where's the parts? Add some fuel, get that in before that, and then by 1500, By 1500, everything will ship, and then by 1800, everything will um, actually be delivered. So, fuel and parts that you ordered, those will arrive and they'll be ready for use right away. The other stuff has to get built, so it takes a little bit to actually use like the steam generators or your new diesels or whatever. So, keep that in mind that if you're gonna put, place any orders you gotta do it before noon so that'll pretty much wrap up this video um, and then I'll kick back off you know shut down after my second loop is installed that way I can show you the shutdown cooldown within a reasonable time instead of making this video 30 minutes long waiting for uh, the parts to be delivered, the parts to be installed, and then I know no one wants to watch that. You'll probably hear me ramble on for 30 minutes. So we're going to end it here. If you got questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. Um, I think I'm understanding this game more and more every single time I play it, and I could probably help you out. So let me know, and uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, have a good day. Thanks. This is uh, Game with the Hackets, and signing off.